first of all, dear Virgil, it's always a pleasure to talk with you. Uh, great announcement, great fight coming, Maurice Hooker. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. Me and Maurice Hooker, we the the fight got announced. Uh, I'm very excited for it. I asked for this fight at 140, and uh, I didn't get it, but I'm I'm getting it now at 147, and I'm getting to prove uh, what I got. Sometimes uh, we don't realize that God is in control. I remember that you were asking for this fight like long time ago. Hey, I want to fight this guy, whatever, in 140. But now you are you are about to fight with him, but in your weight division, your weight class, and it happens that you are a gold champion. Yes, yes. So yeah, how so, is the feeling? Uh... Yeah, um, it, it feels great, you know, and not only that, uh, but, you know, we're fighting it in our, uh, we're fighting in Fort Worth, which is basically, it's it's still Dallas, you know, um, yeah. and, <laughs> you know, all of our friends and family are going to be there, and, you know, it's it's going to it's gonna be really good, it's going to be a really good night, you know, there, there's a good undercard, you know, we got Sinisa Estrada, we got a lot of uh, other hometown fighters there, like George Rincon and Tristan, and, you know, there's a, it's, it's going to be a great night of boxing. It's like a cross town fight. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right. And let, let me tell you something uh, because the people, uh, little by little, they are starting to know you deep inside. I mean, you are like, uh, not in bad way, but in a good way, crazy boxer. You play the guitar, you sing, your, your Twitter is always like something very interesting to hear. And what is the meaning for you that the people is falling in love with you, not only because you're a boxer, because you're a human being like a different. You always have something to say, but good things to say always. Yeah, um, it, it feels it feels awesome that that people are liking me, uh, not as a boxer, but for who I am. You know, I feel like uh, my my personality really comes out when I start to get comfortable. You know, when I first turned professional, I was a uh, I was a little scared to talk to the to the reporters, to the interviewers, but now I'm opening up more, and uh, people are starting to uh, to finally understand how I am as a person. I remember you because I'm following you uh, from the start of your career. You, you don't want to talk too much. You 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 are <laughs> say something like little response, but now you are in control. So uh, if you make a stop now, uh, how is the feeling? To be here now because uh, it's unbelievable the way you grow in boxing the way you grow in social media and the way you grow as a human being you know it, it feels really good to just to be here in my position you know um you know uh there, there's a lot of fans now all across the world that that look up to me and I, I get the messages all the time and you know it feels great to see those messages to see all those uh little kids and and grown uh, adults uh, looking up to me i you know in this position you know i just want to show uh everyone that you know that you can do what you want to do you know as long as you put your mind to it you know um if you really want to do it then you'll do it you know i i'm not i don't feel like i was born with like natural like athletic ability where i was You know, I'm I'm doing extraordinary stuff. You know, like you know, there you can you can just tell when someone's different. But like, I feel like I had that that capacity to want to learn. I think I think that's what I'm good at. I'm good at learning stuff. You know, because when you want to learn, you, you know, you you and you and you enjoy doing it. You you can go far. You can go far in whatever you want to do. Definitely, because I truly believe there is some athletes like Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't know if you follow soccer, but Cristiano yes. Ronaldo in the beginning, I mean, is, is not the greatest, but he, he works really hard. He, he prepared uh, himself and then now is one of the biggest. So you take me there. Actually, you take me there because uh, Golden Boy don't have Canelo anymore, but the, but the people into boxing. They are mentioned in, in, in myself too, that the best boxer, the best, not only prospect, but a contender, now a champion, is Virgil Ortiz. Because you have 16-0, 16 knockouts. Uh, you're growing like crazy every day. You have a great team with Robert Garcia. So what is the meaning for you that 
uh, not only in Golden Boy, but all over the world, they mentioned the men from Golden Boy, the guy from Golden Boy now is Virgil Ortiz. Not even Ryan Garcia is, for so many people, Virgil Ortiz. You know, that uh, it, it makes me feel very, uh, very humbled. It makes me very humbled that people think that, that I'm going to be the face of boxing pretty soon, that I'm the best fighter at Golden Boy. It's, it's very motivating. You know, it's it just makes me want to work harder. You know, a lot of people take it as pressure. It, it I don't feel it as pressure. It makes me want to work hard. Makes me want to pe uh, prove people that they're right. And you know, I I want to continue uh, proving proving it to myself. You know, because I feel like I'm I'm probably the the toughest critic on myself. And um, if people say that about me, then I, I'm gonna want to show myself that I am the best. Definitely. Uh, do you believe? Virgil Ortiz have the tools, have the soul, have the heart, and have the balls to have all the belts in 147. Oh, yes, definitely. You know, I, I feel like I have all that and all the skills and, and everything. You know, I feel like I'm very capable of, of getting all the belts, of unifying. That's that's the plan. You know, I'm not going to let no politics on, in boxing or whatever across the street, whatever. I don't care. You better come to this side. Or I'm going to that side. We're going to we're going to unify these belts. Uh, you fought against uh, Maestro Herrera, Mauricio Herrera, Brad Solomon, which is very difficult, and of course, Samuel Vargas. But uh, Maurice Hooker is the most complicated fight that you ever had. Um, I, don't, I don't know yet for sure. He's definitely going to be a hard fight. I don't know if complicated is the word for it, but he's definitely going to be the toughest fighter, uh, you know, on paper. You know, he has like a, I don't know what his reach is, but he has a long reach. He's, you know, he's, he's a little taller than me. And uh, like I said, he's, he's been a world champion before he's in his prime right now. He's, he's 31 years old. It's going to be a tough fight and uh, we're going to make sure that we're ready for it. Uh, Maurice Hawker, he already conquered the 140 pounds division, but now is willing to do everything to conquer 147. What are you willing to do in order to stop him? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I want to, I want to prove that I'm the hero of the story. I, I want to be the best. Well, uh, what is the, the meaning for you? Let me ask you three questions because you have a, a lot of compro compromises today. But I mean, what is the feeling? What is the meaning for you to have this Mexican blood? Because if you take a look, Mexico and Mexican-American boxers, they are uh, having a great time, like a gold era. You know, if you talk about Mexicans, if you talk about Mexican-Americans and you talk about boxing, of course, they say, hey, that's a guy. So what is the meaning for you to, to be in this era? You know, it means a lot because, you know, first of all, I'm just, I'm very proud to be a Mexican. You know, if, um, if I had a chance to do it all over again and I could choose who I wanted to be and you know what, what race I would, I would definitely still pick Mexican. You know, we have the best food. We have the best, uh, girls. We have, we have the best <laughs> culture. We have uh, everything that we do, in my opinion, is the best. And I feel like we have the best genetics as well. You know, um, you know, we just have that no me a hot mentality. You know, when you don't you don't see um, Mexicans uh, asking for money on the street, they're, go they're going to work or they're trying to sell you something or whatever. They, they have that mentality. You know, they're, they're going to make it. They don't like handouts. They they, they do what they got to do. And at, no matter what cost, they got to wake up at 4 a.m. and go to work and come back at, at 8 p.m., then they'll do it. You know, so I'm very proud to be a Mexican. You know, we're, I feel like we're the hardest workers in the entire world. And uh, I I would, this is what I want to be. I'm, I'm glad that I that I was born a Mexican. It, it's so nice to talk with you because you, you, you can talk about music, you can talk about a uh, social stuff because you know me i'm really mexican i love my mexican people and sometimes we need leaders we have role models like you that uh, we need to show to to the mexican people that every dream every dream that you have on your mind on your heart you can you can get there so uh, i truly believe that you if you dream in something possible that's not good but if you dream in something impossible that's the way it is yeah exactly you're you're entirely right and uh you know these people have to get more confidence in themselves and they have to believe in themselves more and uh once you do that you know everything the the possibilities are are endless
you know, as, as long as you set your mind to it. Finally, two more questions. The, uh, first of all, uh, why I have to watch your fight? It's always the question that I love to ask because you need to explain why I have to watch your fight uh, against Maurice Hooker down there. Uh, it's Dickens Arena, right? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, Dickens Arena Dick in Fort Worth. Dickens Arena in Fort Worth. So why I have to watch your fight? Uh, you have to watch our, my fight because... No, I'm I'm one of the most explosive fighters out there. You know, I don't I don't like to be in boring fights. I don't I don't like to watch boring fights, and so I'm not gonna be in one. My fights are always entertaining. Um, you know, I'm 16 and 0, 60 knockouts. All my wins have been by knockout. Um, and there's there's gonna be uh you know plenty more uh, people on the undercard too as well that are really great fighters. But as for me, you know, I'm I'm fighting a, a tough opponent, the toughest opponent in my career. It's it's gonna be a war. It's gonna be a, a really good uh the the fight of Dallas. It's it's gonna be a great fight. And uh you you're not gonna wanna miss it. If if you hear about it and you wake up the next morning, you didn't watch the fight and you watch it, you're like, oh, I should have been there. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those type of fights. Definitely. And please send a message to the people, to La Raza, if you can do this in Spanish. But the question is what what moves you what is your motivation what is the thing that uh, keep Virgil Ortiz hunger humble and ready to go you know um I, I want to be the best there's no doubt about that everyone wants to be the best in, in whatever they do but as for me it's uh I want to take care of my family you know uh we before I started boxing you know we we're in a very uh tough position you know we struggled a lot And, uh, you know, we're not struggling anymore. And, uh, you know, that's that's because of me and, and my dad, you know, putting in the, the hard work in the gym uh, all these countless hours. You know, when I have kids, I don't want them to struggle. I want to be able to give them uh, what they want. I want them to have uh, the opportunities that I was never able to get. And I just I want a better life for them. I want a better life for my whole family. Beautiful. Something in Spanish for La Raza to close this beautiful interview. See. Si. <laughs> A todos, a todos a mis aficionados, uh, yo quiero uh, decirte que, you know, es, estoy muy uh, agradecido por tu apoyo y, uh, en, fuck, <laughs> uh, ¿cómo se dice? En, en, la, en el 20 de, de marzo uh, fue sí. un, un guerra. El 20 y, de marzo yeah. habrá una guerra. Sí. Bueno, Virgil, muchas gracias. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. And God bless you, man, because you are, a, first of all, a great human being. You're a great champion, but I prefer a great human being. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. God bless. Si te gustó nuestro contenido, suscríbete a nuestro canal de YouTube. Y si no te gustó, también. No puedes jugar boxeo. <laughs>